Yo, what is up guys? NT back with another video and today you guys see we have golden ticket Keith Bullock. So Keith Bullock was one of the most recent uh, golden tickets to come out alongside Jalen Ramsey and Cam Newton. And I really, I was wondering how good does this Keith Bullock play? Because he is a golden ticket after all. And so I went on YouTube, I was looking up uh, gameplay videos of Keith Bullock and I really couldn't find any. I really only found one and it was it was a, of a guy that had like about a thousand subscribers obviously he has more than me but his gameplay didn't really showcase Keith Bullock that much I mean his defense is pretty good but it was other players getting interceptions and tackles in the gameplay so I wanted to bring you guys a video today focusing solely on Keith Bullock I'm a user Keith Bullock the entire time and for chemistries you guys see that I have the New York Giants chemistry on him it doesn't really matter which one I pick. The other one he could get are the Tennessee Titans, but I run a 49ers theme team, so it wouldn't really matter to me. And then I put Lockdown on him, which boosts his zone and his man. And then for the physical chemistry slot, I put Bruiser, which boosts his strength and his speed. And right here for X Factors and abilities, I run Reinforcement for my X Factor. I really like running uh, Reinforcement because the way it can you get contributions towards the X Factor goal is through tackles for losses and breaking up passes. And also if you get an interception, it activates reinforcement right away. So usually when I do activate reinforcement, it's through getting interceptions, not so much from tackle for losses or pass breakups. And right here, my first ability, I have Lurker. And then second, I have Universal Coverage. For that spot, I actually had zoned out first because I didn't see that you could get Universal and then once I found out, I moved on to Universal and then you guys see I had Enforcer and Run Stopper. The last one was also a toss up between Run Stopper and Tackle Supreme. It doesn't really matter which one I chose because Tackle Supreme, I could just Conservative Tackle and then Run Stopper. If I have him in the right position, then he'll stop the run basically. And right here you guys see, I actually used to have Fred Warner as my starting right outside linebacker. And with all the boosts, Fred Warner actually has one better speed than Keith Bullock. But if you look at everything else, Keith Bullock beats him. Better block shed, better play rec, better tackling, better strength just by a little bit. Acceleration definitely not better. And Fred Warner again, with my uh, full 49ers team team, he does all my 49ers players get plus five speed. So Fred Warner would have plus one speed. But right here, again, better tackling. Let's see. Power move and finesse move really aren't that good, but right here, 99 player, 94 man, and 92 zone. So this guy should be a coverage beast. So we're going to hop into a gameplay right here, and I'm going to use our Keith Bullock the entire time, and we'll see what the cheapest golden ticket can do. So right here, we're picking up on offense. My opponent actually had the first possession of the ball, so I already had a defensive drive, but Keith Bullock didn't really do that much. And like I said, I really want this to be a Keith Bullock focused gameplay. So I probably won't be showing that much of my offense, but I'll show some highlights. Like right there, I picked up the first down with Raheem Mostert. Right here, it's first and five because my opponent actually stepped off sides. And I'm rolling out to the left. I'm looking for triangle, looking for square. I had triangle open, but I also had the lane wide open. So I ran it with GT Sanu. Right here, second and ten, coming out again, gun tight slots, looking for circle, looking for square, Randy Moss, let's go. Right here, third and long, we need 18 yards to convert to get the first down. We see Randy Moss on the slant route, but then we user Jerry Rice, we make him go up, but he's short of the first down marker. And let's just say I went for it on fourth down and didn't make it. So we're back on D, and based on my opponent's formation, it looks like he's going to run stretch and he does and we're on Keith Bullock we're over there but he doesn't make the tackle we over pursue so right here second and 12 and I think my opponent actually knows I've been using Keith Bullock because he's been going the opposite way throwing the opposite way and running the opposite way every single play he hasn't really challenged Keith Bullock that much so I don't know what's going on right here he's passing I'm on Keith Bullock and he scrambles out I run towards him and Keith Bullock doesn't get the tackle Right here, third and five. Let's see if we can get the stop with Keith Bullock or get the stop in general. And he goes to the out and he gets it. So my opponent has the first and ten. We'll see what we can do right here. We're on Keith Bullock again. And Simeon Rice gets a tackle. Simeon Rice is actually also a new pickup. I replaced Julius Peppers. He's basically a faster and better version of Julius Peppers. He has two plus speed and better uh, pass rushing moves. 
So right here we're on Keith Bullock again. See what my opponent does. He goes to the flats and he gets the first down. Come on, tackle him. Don't pull him forward. Man, my opponent really hasn't been challenging Keith Bullock that much. I need to try and get him into a passing situation and bait him with, ever, with whoever um, Keith Bullock's assignment is and just try and get a pick. And right here, we do just that. Let's go. Keith Bullock, bring it back. Don't get to... Uh, and of course, he gets tackled. So Keith Bullock got us the ball back before the half. We just need to try and do something right here. Just try to get some points on the board, even if it's just a field goal. And we see Jerry Rice wide open on the post route, down at the 7-yard line. Let's go. So we couldn't do much after the catch by Jerry Rice. We had to sell for the field goal. And right here, we're starting off the second half with our ball. It's third and three. We got to see. We bring Jerry Rice out. Hopefully he beats the press and his guy backs off. But we got George Kittle on the corner route. Possession catch. Let's go, man. Yo, this guy has kept spamming me with the blitz. You guys see it's third and 17. So I had to bust it out. I had to bust out the near close flex. I didn't want to do it to him. But he kept sending the blitz. And right here, we're going to throw it up to George Kittle. Ag him. Ag him. Get that garbage blitz out of here. Stop running it. So my opponent finally has the ball back on the offense, and you guys see Keith Bullock lit up. He has an X factor because of the last interception that he got. Bruh. And right here, he missed the tackle because my opponent lagged. Like, what? That was Keith Bullock's time to shine. And my opponent runs no huddle. Again, we're going to go back on Keith Bullock. Hopefully we get a stop. He runs play action. Where where you going, son? Oh, uh, wait. Oh, thank God he didn't catch that. So right here, it's third and four for my opponent. He needs to convert. I'm showing Blitz. I want him to make a bad read. I want him to see Ghost back there. We're on Keith Bullock. What can we do? We need to stop right here. And he's passing it. Oh, no. We left Bruh. him wide open. He just went straight through our user's coverage. Uh, that was my fault. So we pick up with me on offense, and it's already somehow fourth and eight. I mean... I know my opponent is bad. He's not as good as me, so I'm just going to go for it. Mohamed Sanu, he leaves him wide open. We scramble for the first down. You need to put a QB spy on him, man. So right here, I'm actually sending everyone deep. I don't care if I do an arm punt if he picks it off deep. I actually kind of want to go back on defense so that we can get more gameplay with Keith Willick. He hasn't really done much yet this video, so I'm just trying to get an arm punt, have him intercept the ball so I can go back on D. And you guys see, I get sacked right there. And right here, again, we're going to send people deep. I want him to pick this ball off so I can get some gameplay with Bullock. He hasn't done much, and right there, he actually gets the pick. We can get some gameplay with Bullock, hopefully. And right here, first and ten for my opponent. Please, man, just... I don't know, throw Keith Bullock's way, run Keith Bullock's way. I just need some action with him. Let me get a tackle, let me get a swat, let me get an interception. Just let me show what Keith Bullock can do. And right here, he's dropping back for a pass, and he gets sacked by the Jadavian Clowney. We get the stop, but it wasn't with Keith Bullock. So it's third and long for my opponent. We need to get a stop right here. So he, he's out of field goal range. Don't give him any yards. We get stuck on Aaron Donald. What? What kind of luck is this? Taylor Mace, let's go! Interception! Keith Bullock was right there. I mean, it it was Taylor Mays, but let's just say Keith Bullock helped in putting double coverage. <laughs> and right here, we're going to go deep again, looking for an arm punt. We just want some gameplay with Keith Bullock. Come on, man. Can you give it to us? Thank you. Thank you for picking the ball off. So it's first and ten for my punt. We're on Keith Bullock. Hopefully we can do something before the game ends. There's 56 seconds left. And right there, oh, do you see his quarterback? He was about to throw it to whoever Keith Bullock was guarding. No, we should have let him get the pass off. Okay, he's running no huddle here. Again, we're going to stay on Keith Bullock. Bruh. Wait, what? Wait, how do I get out of this? We're stuck on Martin Hanks. No, what's he doing? I couldn't even see what he was doing. Oh, man, thank God he didn't do anything. He didn't complete that pass. So my opponent actually just converted that third and 17. Right here, we're on Bullock. And again, Clowney gets a sack. Man, what? We should... I should have made this a Jadavian Clowney gameplay video. He's stealing the spotlight. So my opponent has second and 16. He has a very long ways to go. So I'm just going to man up, guard the sticks. Please, 
13 seconds left. Please give Keith Bullock some action. I'm begging you. Please throw his way. And right here, I'm going to go up to the D-line. Hopefully try and bait him. Oh, we see the crosser. Wait. Oh, Keith Bullock actually picked the ball off. He threw Keith Bullock's way. Eight seconds left, and Keith Bullock won us the game. That's insane. So the game is basically over. Right here, I'm just trying to add some insult to injury. He kept running that spam blitz, and we see Jerry Rice wide open, catch and run. Man, I really wish he scored a touchdown. I called a timeout right there because I was just being pity. I was mad that he kept sending that blitz. But Keith Bullock, man, Keith Bullock came in clutch. For 99% of the game, he didn't do much. He, he had the interception before the half that got us our first points. But, man, did he come in clutch to stop our opponent from getting into field goal range and tying it up or even scoring a touchdown? But basically, yeah, that's it. I mean, he's 300,000 coins. If you guys want him, go ahead. Thanks for watching. See ya.